spawning in the bottom right. As the blue Terran, we have Wolfgar representing past gaming. And in the top left, as the red Protoss representing the engineers of chaos, we have War Buffle. Or War Buff the second, one of them. And a probe is already moving out. Got got to mention that. So, we're going to see something cheeky here, that's for sure. Probably a cannon rush. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna have to relax. I, I usually have everything all attuned for when I'm laddering for 1v1s. So I, I didn't really get a chance to fix it all. But yeah, I'll switch it over to medium here. After this game. And turn on the stream delay. But I don't want to lag out their game right now and switch to medium graphics, so... <laughs> No cannon rush, maybe. Looks like he just wanted to scout. He was a little scared, I guess. Understandable. Terran can do some nasty proxies. Reaper proxies. The dirtiest thing ever to a Protoss. I don't care. Um, you'd have to get on raid call, though, uh, DC Unite. So, we'll probe moving back into the base here. I'm gonna go home and do some mining. And we've got a refinery first, I think. I, I wasn't really paying much attention to the build order. I think it was a refinery and then a Rax, but I might be wrong. Like I said, I'm a Zerg player. Oh, okay. Yeah, the only way we'd be able to uh, talk to each other is through raid call. But, it's whatever. We have a orbital going down. Uh, whenever I play Terran at my Bronze League level, I always never get that. So, <laughs> Reap around the way. Still Chrono boosting out the workers. He needs to get a Stalker out here quickly. Hopefully he gets a Stalker first, otherwise this Reaper is going to be really annoying. Just one Reaper right now. Might see a second, might see a factory. But CC going down. Reaper jumping up into the main here. There's no Stalker. Uh, he really needed to have a Stalker out for this. Oh, he's going to get surround on it. Yep. <laughs> nice. Reaper, not going to be a problem. I think I got one kill. No. Not even one kill. Oh yeah, that's probably because I'm running 3,000 kilobits per second. I'm going to have to shut the stream off for a second, guys, and redo it. Um, or I guess after this. If, you, if your internet isn't top-notch, then <laughs> you're going to have problems running this. You might have to... I think they changed it so you can change the stream quality instead of running it at source. So you might have to do that. Bunkerinos going down, a couple of them. This is a smart move because his opponent's on one base, and it's you know it's going to be a three gate. Usually you'd see a stalker coming out here instead of a sentry, but oh, there's the natural. Alrighty, so it looks like three gate pressure with an expand. Okay, cool. Thanks for the feedback, Nikki. <clears throat> I mean, if you got pretty good internet, then you'll be able to run it as, like, like, yeah, like source, but otherwise you'll have to turn it down. Uh, Robo on the way here. Smart move. He didn't get any scouting done to check this. I don't think he did. He doesn't know exactly what's happening, but... You know, putting down a robo and just getting out that observer is better to stay safe. Otherwise, you can just auto die to like widow mine drops or a banshee, which might be on the way. Do have a starport? It's possible. 
but probably just reactor medevacs, just judging by these two racks. So we got, what, six gates here, and a robotics facility. I like to see uh, war buffs make more stalkers. They're really good in this matchup, particularly. You tend to see sentries more in like against Zerg because of speedlings, but whatever. Let's see what's going on in Terran land. A bunch of reactors. We got a tech lab here. Stim. So he might push with combat shields, or just with stim, but I'm thinking he's going to want to get combat shields and then push. We'll see. Looks like he wants a medevac. <clears throat> so both players getting onto two bases. This is unusual for a, <laughs> like a bronze, silver level matchup. Gotta give him props, definitely. Oh, I just saw a warp prism on the way. Yeah, usually, in the, at this level, it's one base for like 15, 20 minutes. And then once they've mined out their main, they lift off, land at the net, you know, or long distance mine and then put down the nexus, you know, something like that. going down here, engineering base. Medivac's coming out one at a time. He's a little gas starved. Yeah, let's see another geyser recognizing that. There's all the stalkers I was looking for. I saw him put down a Twilight Council right here, but then he deleted it, or destroyed it, canceled it. I don't know. Blink's really good. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'll fix it after this. Sorry. Like I said, I have everything attuned for when I'm 1v1ing, and maybe my internet's not so great today. That's why it's having problems with 3,000 kilobits per second um, bitrate and buffer size. But I'll drop it down. I do apologize. Well, we gotta move out here. Forgot to mention that. Tons of bio. And I don't think that uh, Warbuck has a mothership core. Sorry, I'm going to turn on the sound really quick. Yeah, there's no mothership core. Um, there are sentries, though, so that's good. He needs to get up here, though. Yeah, it's too late. He's up on the top of the ramp. So, Marines pushing in here. They're probably going to get a kill on this uncontested. I feel like Warbuck could have killed that. Um, he probably could have cut the army in half here on the ramp at the natural and then taken care of it. Ooh, baiting out a force field, that was good. So he's lifting up into his medevacs. I don't think that's a safe call. I mean, I'd already consider this a victory um, by killing the natural. It's better just to go home. But I guess he wants to see what he can do. Trying to bait out some force fields here. Couple force fields go down, they only catch a couple units, so not really a big deal. High ground positioning is being seen, or high ground scouting with the medevacs, so that helps. But some decent force fields keeping him at bay. He's really, war buff is really supply locked. He needs like five uh, pylons like an hour. And we got upgrades for Terran, but none for Protoss. Something to keep, him, uh, keep note of. Oh, stimming, moving up the ramp here, trying to get something done here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good here for Wolfgar. I think if uh, Warbuff had been down by his natural and he had cut the army before it got up into his nap, then he probably would have had a much better engagement. It would be a totally different game. But GG is called, and Warbuff uh, taps out there. Wolfgar is the victor. 
first game to past gaming.